everyone how have you been welcome back to my channel today i'm going to review a skincare product it's been such a long time since i did a skincare video and i missed it big time so what i am reviewing today is this eucerine 50 plus uva uvb oil control tinted sunscreen now on the package you might read you know some of the spanish i'll just translate it for you it says pl mixta el grasa which means Combination to oily skin, toque seco, toque seco, which means dry touch. They say it's a sun gel cream and it's in the tone medium. It comes in two tones, a light and a medium. So I bought this a month and a half, two months back, but I've used it only a few times. That's why, you know, there is a lot of products still remaining. So this is one of those products where I have a mixed feedback about this. There are certain things about this product that I really love. And there are certain things which I don't like that much, but with a little add on, you know, with certain tweaks, I can still make it work for my skin tone. So let me begin with telling you why I've used it only a few times. You know, it's been like 40, 50 days, more than 40, 50 days, and there is still a lot of product in, a, in this bottle, usually when it's a sunscreen and something that I really like, I would consume it within a month. If it's like, you know, this is like a 50 ml package. The number one thing, it does have a strange cast. Although when I try it on my, you know, when I tested it before I bought, I felt that this is the tone that is really close to my skin tone. I'll just, I'll apply it on my face too, but just to begin with and show you how it looks. So you see there is a slight gray, tone to it the other thing which is not specific to this product but it is mostly with you know any sunscreen any tinted sunscreen that you will buy that it does transfer to your clothes to especially to the neckline if you are applying you know the sunscreen to the neck and you do have to apply it because it does give a strange cast on the face and you don't want to leave your neck otherwise there will be a clear difference between the two areas it does feel slightly heavy it doesn't feel sticky at all which is a good thing but you do feel like as if you're wearing something like with moisturizer you don't feel like you know anything that's on your face but with sunscreens most of the sunscreen you either feel greasy if they are matte you do feel that they are you know there is something on your face now let's come to the good things i think i should have put this first but anyways so it does have matte finish i've just written down my notes so i don't forget while i'm talking it does have a beautiful matte finish it is dry touch one thing that i've noticed with this sunscreen like after using it maybe once or twice you know if i'm using it consecutive days I feel my skin starts to clear out like if there is any um, irritation or any acne that I might have you know some product might have caused on my skin this product this formulation seems to clear that out and that is something that I really like about it although it does have a cast but with a little bit of a makeup you can still make it work so let's do a wear test the whole idea is to show you how you know because for a skin tone like us it is difficult to find the right foundation a lot of times and then it's even a difficult job to find the right tinted sunscreen usually with tinted sunscreens they always say to shake it before you use them but with this one even if i shake it doesn't say anywhere though but if i even if i want to shake it because i am in this habit of shaking the bottle the package before i apply before before i dispense product and apply it on my face but this one even if i shake i don't feel anything although the brand also doesn't tell you to shake before use you know some brands some packaging would tell you that you have to shake the product before you dispense it. I'm going to use this much right now. As you can see clearly there is a white liquid, there is the tinted liquid and it's not like homogeneously mixed. So with this one what I do, I just mix it just here. I don't spread it all over my hand and I start applying it onto my face. And this amount, I'm just going to use it on my face and not on my neck. For neck, I'm going to take out a little bit more product and then apply it. I feel this product. So basically, when I applied my moisturizer, it's been some time. But if I apply it directly after my moisturizer, it's easier to spread it. But as you can see right now, it's, it, it's becoming a little bit difficult. 
you know the thing with this sunscreen is you know as i'm applying as i start to spread it across my face and you know the product layer starts to thin down the product starts to dry down so quickly that i have to start rubbing it on my face really hard and rigorously because it is a tinted sunscreen it has pigment so it is really important for it to be blended evenly and if i don't blend it well you know the strokes would be visible the product would end up looking really patchy so in my opinion it does take a little bit of an extra time to blend it all over my face number one because the color is not exactly my skin tone it i feel it's a little lighter and secondly because the product starts to dry down so quickly i end up being really aggressive with my blending I will also apply this onto my neck so I'm taking a, just a little bit extra and applying it onto my neck you can clearly see that I'm staying away from the neckline of my t-shirt because this product stains So you see I just applied it all over my face looks a little washed out I do apply sunscreen on my lips as well but after I wear it I do need to fix it with a little bit of makeup and that I'm going to do right now as I'm talking through so you see it does stain my hand there is a still a lot of product on to my fingers and before I touch anything I usually have to wash my hands off or in this case today as I'm sitting and shooting the video I'm just going to wipe off and you see how much product is still there so if there is a lot of product on your hand and you touch and hold other things it is going to transfer and it just stains how I'm going to fix it as I can see there is no warmth I'm going to add a little bit of a bronzer I'll apply a little bit of a bronzer just to add you know warmth back to my face because I see with the sunscreen my face is looking really washed out Next I'll use the same bronzer and apply it onto my lids just to you know put back some color onto my face because right now I just my face just looks really odd and adding on a little bit of a blush to my cheeks just to bring back some life to my face and also using the same blush onto my eyelids so I do need to darken my eyebrows a bit because it's a tinted product and if it goes you know in the areas where you have facial hair it settles between the hair and it is difficult to take it out and finally finishing off the whole look with a lip tint now let's talk about reapplication so you see this hand in the beginning i applied a small patch of sunscreen on this hand as compared to this one you can clearly see there is sunscreen on this hand and not on this one so i'm going to reapply and show you how i'm pretty sure it's going to look worse and i've never done it on the face for the same reason because i don't want to get that strange cast and you know it just becomes like my face looks like a ghost face so i'm going ahead with the same amount of sunscreen that applied before and so this is how it looks right now i'm just going to try to blend it into the skin even more but i'm pretty sure that i cannot reapply it onto my face because of this cast i think i cannot blend it more than this i just have to clean my hands before i can show you so see so here it is you see there is a clear difference on this side and here and just for this reason i cannot reapply it maybe a person who is lighter than my skin tone and you know where the color the undertone of this particular sunscreen matches maybe they can apply it reapply it and reapply it but for me it clearly doesn't work for reapplication so what i do is i apply the first layer of my sunscreen which is the other sunscreen non tinted and throughout the day if i have to reapply then i'll use this as a second layer because i know i cannot use multiple layers of this sunscreen because the color is just off the first layer is still like okay you still 
you know like i know that there is a sunscreen but maybe you know when you see me for the first time you won't even notice now let's look at the ingredients it has six sunscreen agents out of which four are uvb and two uva sunscreen agents i have the names written on my notebook which i will be referring because these are like long chemical names so for the uva filters the first one it's butyl methoxydibenzoyl methane which is also known as avobenzone and which is the only most effective uva filter the second uva agent which is also a uvb agent is bis ethyl hexyl oxy phenol methoxy phenyl triazine also this is one of the best performing sunscreen agents but interestingly it is banned in us so you will not find this particular ingredient this particular uvb uva filter in sunscreens coming from us the next three are the uvb filters the third one is ethyl hexyl salicylate which is also known as octisalate fourth one is ethyl hexyl triazone which is also known as octyl triazone this is also banned in us so you will not find this particular sunscreen agent in the sunscreens that are coming from that are manufactured in us the fifth one is diethyl amino hydroxyl benzoyl high hexyl benzoate this is again banned in us the sixth one is phenyl benzimidazole sulfonic acid which is also known as ensulizole now this particular sunscreen agent ensulizole is the one that does not have it is the only sunscreen agent that is not available in the oil format rest all the other are in oil form so this particular ensulizole you will find in sunscreens that are meant for oily skin that are meant to give your skin a matte finish an oil free finish now looking at the cast because usually you know chemical sunscreens they don't give you that white cast but seems that this also has titanium dioxide but which is only used as a colorant here it is not used for its sunscreen uh, you know sunscreen properties so for the color it has titanium oxide iron oxide i think iron oxide is present in three different shades just to give it the color that it has and along with all these sunscreen agents the colors it has also got some uh, skin loving ingredients like humectants like glycerin then it has emollients like oleic acid myristic acid stearic acid and this is how the before and after looks for the sunscreen for just one application i haven't even reapplied it and i hope this video was informative enough i'll see you all in my next video until then stay tuned stay beautiful